Hello everybody, welcome back. It is good to see you again. Uh, so today we are talking about pilot season. What is it, why is it important, and what we can do to prepare for it. So let's get into it. So pilot season is when the industry casts and shoots one episode of their new shows that they want to show to networks that season. So it's a very crucial time for a lot of actors to be submitting and have all of their profiles and everything super up to date. All right, so what does this all mean for you? Because if you're an actor just starting out, pilot season is going to be something where a lot of people are talking about it a lot and you're going to be like, oh, pilot season, I'm so stoked. And then it's going to go by and you may not get as many auditions as you want. But when you're first starting out, that's kind of the shtick. So what I would say to actors just starting out who've moved here, who are ready to work, is be ready for a self-tape at a moment's notice. That does happen a lot. That means have a tripod, camera, or I honestly use my smartphone for most of my self-tapes, even when we got this big fancy camera in front of me. It just needs to be well lit, horizontal, and we need to be able to hear you. So for a full list of the equipment I use in my self-tapes, you can go ahead and click to my how to move to LA and be an actor video. I'll put the link down below. Chances are you guys have probably seen that already. And in fact, for some of you who are wondering what all of these casting profiles and all these things I'm talking about, go check out that video. It's a great place to start and then come and watch this video. So another big way to prepare, regardless of your experience, regardless of the credits to your name, is to make sure that all of your profiles are up to date. That means headshot, resume, reel, everything. So for me, that includes LA casting, actors access, backstage, casting frontier, and IMDB Pro. Yes, I think, I, I think that's all of them. If you're on the fence as to whether or not you should get new headshots, chances are you need new headshots. I get new headshots just about every year or 18 months, uh, and I just got some new ones, so get them all uh, shot and then get them printed on nice thick paper. I use a place out of New York called Reproductions. It's a little more expensive, but I think it's worth it. And then I like to staple my resume, my updated resume, to the back. And the reason I staple it instead of having it printed directly on the back is if I book other jobs and wanna update my resume, it's just easier to just staple it to the back. People totally understand, that is totally, totally fine. So get that headshot updated. Even if you think that you've gotten uglier, quote unquote, first of all, you haven't, you look great, and B, well, second of all, it's so much more important that you have a headshot that accurately represents you right now than it is to have a headshot that makes you look insta-model famous. So enough about headshots, let's move on. So the next thing to update is your reel. Be sure to update it with any new footage, anything that looks really great, and try to keep it under two minutes for sure. When you're updating your reel, get rid of that footage that doesn't look like you. Even if it was a cool commercial that you did forever ago, or like the bigger credit to your name, if you did it when you were 15 and you're now 20, you probably look different and you should change that. Don't be married to any part of your footage. Out with the old, in with the new, and let me know if you want a real specific video in the comments below and I'll do that. So after your headshot is updated and your reel is updated and all of the associated casting profiles are updated with all that new stuff, then I want you to go back through and make sure that your special skills, any life updates, any changes to your body are then marked down and entered. I got a couple tattoos recently. I had to put that down in all of my casting profiles that I have tattoos because again, it's way better to be honest and get a job than to book a job without being honest and get screwed for that later. Another important life update would be any special skills you may have acquired recently. So I became a personal trainer recently and I put that on my resume because you never know, you could book something based off of a special skill you have. All right, so another important thing that you really should update and I'm not always the best about updating it is your sizes. So it's super important that you take an actual tape measure and you have a friend just size you up with all of the dimensions that you need on all of those casting profiles and that you look at those numbers and change them every year and keep them up to date because you don't wanna book a job and have the wardrobe department fit you to a set of measurements that are old and then you show up and then they have to make alterations on the day. That is not a very professional actor. So please, please, please update those sizes. There's plenty of guides online as to how to take the measurements that they ask for. So look it up, get a friend to measure you, and uh, put all those in there. All right, so the last thing that you need to do is make sure that your social media is looking professional. You can be yourself and still be professional on Instagram and on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. Make sure that stuff looks really good because you'd be surprised at how quickly that can become a factor in this business. 
So a thing I'm doing differently this pilot season is I'm actually sending out postcards. I made these on Canva really quickly. It's a design website. It's not sponsored or anything. Try to design something that's professional. Again, these people don't know you. They may not know you. This may be the first time they're seeing you. So make a good impression. Don't send out crap. If you're on the fence about sending something out or not, maybe don't this year. Take some time and figure something out that looks really good. I like to keep it in a postcard format. That way there's nothing to open. They can just see my face, see my name, see what's going on. Then I just have some pertinent info like my height, my weight, my union status, and my agency. It can be something like this. It can be something like, I've even seen something online where someone sent like a Pokemon card of them with all their stats in the Pokemon card thing. And that's really creative. This doesn't mean you should send a Pokemon card, but find something that's unique to you and speaks to what you bring to the table. I didn't send out a postcard for the first couple years out here, so don't think that this is something you have to do every pilot season. I just wanted to do it this year because I figured why not. My agent actually sent me her submission report for me on both Actors Access and LA Casting. Basically, it gives me a list of all the casting directors that have seen my name pop up on their Actors Access or on their LA Casting. And from that, I'm taking a list, and that is what I'm gonna be using to send these postcards out. But before I send the postcards, I'm checking each and every casting office to see if this is an acceptable thing. Because if they don't accept postcards, don't send them postcards because that's just not a good look. So the whole postcard game is something that I wanna get into this year and we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know if, if I get any uh, responses. And also another thing I'm doing this year is I'm following a couple casting directors that I've had my eye on for a while. This doesn't mean to just jump in and follow a bunch of casting directors willy-nilly. See who you are going out for, similar roles or projects that interest you, something that speaks to you. If there's a casting director that you think does a really good job, then follow them and uh, you know, be professional, don't send them a bunch of DMs or anything like that because chances are you might be one of thousands of people that follow them. All right, so a very small thing for every actor out there, it's pilot season, make sure your printer has ink, make sure you have staples and that you have paper. I know it sounds simple, but if an audition pops up and you don't have your printer ready or you don't have a highlighter or pens or things to mark up a script, then you're just gonna feel like you're caught with your pants down. So just get all that stuff in order, you're like a fireman. You're really like waiting, 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 and then all of a sudden you get an audition and you gotta boom, be ready. Which also means you should take care of yourself during pilot season. It can be pretty stressful and when it rains, it pours. So if you have some time, rest, take a moment, take care of yourself, eat well, be well. That way when it's on, it is on and you can send that tape and you can give it your all and you'll feel like you're you know, the actor you're meant to be. Alrighty, that about wraps it up. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, for more information on how I got my agents, you can watch my How I Found My Agents video. For how I break down a script, you can watch that video as well. And for just a whole total how I moved here and how I started doing what I do, watch my How to Move to LA and Be an Actor video. If this is something you like, please, please, please subscribe, comment. I read every comment. Give this video a thumbs up if this is something that uh, helped you out and Break a leg this pilot season, everybody. It's game time. Who knows what's gonna happen this year? So, really cool. Bye.